Hey guys, so today I just wanted to film a quick vlog for you, well it probably won't end up being quick, but I wanted to film a vlog for you guys, just kind of telling you about some of the things that I wanted to talk about. The first one being that I got my braces off yesterday, which is super exciting. I was supposed to have them until July of this year, so I got them on two days before Christmas in 2010, so a little over a year ago. I was supposed to have them for 18 months or somewhere around there. So, uh, yeah, I got them off really early. I'm really excited. I love the way that my teeth look. I, oh, I don't know. I just really, really love it. I'm so thankful that I got braces and everything because, I don't know, I just, I am. I really like the way my teeth look and, yeah. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that first because I'm super duper excited. And then next, I wanted to talk about a... I guess, project that I'm embarking on. Um, I was talking to my mom the other day, and my mom's always like, you have so much makeup. You need to stop. Like, you just, you need to stop. And, like, I don't even think I have that much, probably because I watch YouTube and I see all of these beauty gurus with, like, tons and tons of makeup. I'm like, I don't have any. What are you talking about? But I told my mom is kind of a... I don't know, just way of making her happy, I guess, that I'm going to embark upon a Project 10 Pan, which I've never done one of these before. I'm not really even sure if I've ever used up much of anything fully. But if you don't know, Project 10 Pan is whenever you use up 10 products. I've heard, actually, I've heard of it two different ways. It's to completely use up 10 different products or just hit pan on 10 different products. But I don't know, there are certain things that you can't, like, hit pan on, like a lip gloss, so I don't know. I'm just going to try to use up 10 products. And they can be beauty, hair, whatever, just anything relating to that. Excuse me, I thought I had the hiccups for a second. And so, yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the items that I'm hoping to use up, and I'm probably going to try to use a little bit more, um, because I want to either use them more, um, they're starting to get old, so I want to use them before they go bad, or just different things like that. And I'll probably do an update video whenever I finish using all of these items, which will hopefully be, I don't know, sometime by February. There's a MAC collection coming out in February that I really want. And part of the Project 10 Pan is that you can't buy any makeup until you finish your 10 products. So yeah, I'm just going to go through a couple of them. I'm not going to go through all of them because I do have a lot that I'm hoping to use. But my first one that I want to talk to you guys about, which I'll probably repurchase actually, is this one right here. This is my MAC eyeshadow and all that glitters, which shattered whenever I was depotting it. So I want to try to use that up kind of quickly, um, just so I don't have to be so careful with my MAC palette. I have to always lay it so it's like flat, I can't tip it or anything, so I want to try to use that up. And then my Dream Mousse Blush in 40 Soft Plum, which is this color, and I love this color. You can tell that I've used a pretty good amount of it, but it's starting to get a little bit dry, so I'm thinking that either I use it or it's going to go bad. Next is my EOS Lip Balm, because I've never fully used up a lip balm, and you can tell that I'm not really getting there, but it's not... I don't know. We'll see. Next is one thing that I've actually come very close to using up half of, I guess, which is my Maybelline Eye Studio in 90 Silver Starlet, which is this one right here, and I've totally pretty much obliterated this champagne side, which is like one of my favorite champagne colors ever. And they're usually a dome, so you can tell that I've even used a good bit of the silver color. So I'm thinking for winter I can probably use a good bit of that, and I want to use it up because it's like completely broken, and I don't know. I do really, really like these though, so I might repurchase a couple other colors. This is the only one that I have, but I do love how those work. Next I have a couple mascaras that I want to use up uh, quickly because they're getting a little bit old, which are CoverGirl... Uh, Lash Exact, I think. Mabel, or no. Rimmel Sexy Curves, which is like the wettest formula ever, and I don't actually, 
I don't like applying it because it gets everywhere. I do like the wear of it, but I don't know. And the Lash Blast volume, which this is kind of a little bit old. Next is my Maybelline concealer. And you can tell that I've used a ton of this, so I just want to finish this. This might be one of the first things to go. I did buy a new concealer, which I am liking better, but I figure I should use this up. So, yeah. Um, next is, I have a ton of lip products, and I don't really... I mean, I wear them, but not really. I don't like taking them to school and having to reapply, so I'm going to try to be wearing them more. And one that I figured might be kind of easy for me to use up is Pink Please by Maybelline, which is a little more than half. No, a little less than half, probably. But it, I'm wearing it today. It's just a very, you know, simple, everyday color. And then I would also like to use up my MAC Lady Gaga lip gloss. I don't actually like this color. I also own the lipstick, so maybe I'll try to use that up, but... I don't know, this isn't a very good color for me. And then just a couple other things. I want to use up my Maybelline Eye Stu- I- Oh my god. Eye Studio in black. This is almost gone, it's starting to get dry. And then there's just a couple other things, like maybe some of these Kat Von D eyeshadows. You can tell that I've used this one a ton. And I also have three lip stains, which I want to use up completely. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple other products, I think, in my drawers and whatever. A couple lip glosses and other lip products that I want to use up. But for the most part, that's about it. I wanted to know what you guys, if any of you guys have tried it, obviously, what you guys think of the Sally Hansen Salon Effects real nail polish strips. I got these ones which I think are really cute. They're like a red with a black lace pattern and I think they'll be really cute for Valentine's Day. My nails are really really short right now and I'm trying to do my hardest stopping my habit which I've never been one to bite my nails. I know a lot of people do. I've I, I tried to bite my nails once and I actually just couldn't do it. I'm not physically strong enough I guess. I have no idea. But instead I like sit there and I like I don't even know how to show you. Like, I just pick at them until they, like, break off. Which I know is a terrible habit. Habit. I've done it since I was a little girl, and... I don't know. I've been using the Sally Hansen Maximum Growth, and I do like this. It worked for me well before, because I broke my habit for about a month, and then I don't know what happened. So, if any of you guys have any tips um, for breaking my habit... That would be really appreciated because I do love painting my nails and I would love to have them long and be able to paint them and have them look super pretty because I don't think that they look very nice at the length that they're at. But uh, yeah, I also want to know what you guys think of these. Um, I'm, I kind of don't like the fact that they give you 16 in the little package because that's not enough for two, but it's more than you need to do one and I heard that they go bad after you take them out of like the little whatever that they come in I can't even get them out um whenever you take them out of this thing they will go bad so you can't really save the extra so there's probably eight in each of these which I don't know that's just kind of disappointing that I couldn't you know if I had like two left over maybe do like one nail in one or like my ring fingers in one but let me know what you guys think about the nail strips and um, beating my habit of kind of chipping off my nails. And let me know if you've ever done a Project 10 pan. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, which is extremely excited, exciting for me. Oh, I can't talk today. And I am so thankful for every single one of you, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.